We bow our hearts, we bend our knees. Oh, Spirit, come make us humble. We turn our eyes from evil things. Oh, Lord, we cast down our idols and give us clean hands. Give us pure hearts let us not lift our souls to another and give us clean hands give us pure hearts let us not lift our souls to another and God let us be a generation who sees see Bible says in John 14 verse 6, Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Jesus made a very bold statement because what he was saying was, is that he was the only way to heaven. Not Allah, not Buddha, 
not some other belief, not some other church, but only him, not man's way, but he is the way. And that contradicts what many people believe today. When I speak to people about Jesus, they always say that they believe in God, they believe in Jesus, but they believe in their own way. And that goes against what Jesus said. The Bible says that there is a way that seems right to man, but in the end, it leads to death. Everyone believes that they are right in their own eyes. But Jesus said, he is the only way. He is the only way to the Father. He is the only way to heaven. Only through him can a man go to heaven. The Bible says that our sins have separated us from God. Because all men are sinners. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Romans 3 and verse 23 says. Everyone believes they are right in their own eyes. And they don't believe that they are sinners. They say, we, I don't sin, I don't do anything wrong. But our standards and our ways are not God's. God's standards are higher than ours. And the Bible says that thou shalt not murder. But it also says... Thou shalt not lie. You should not bear false witness against your brethren. It puts them two things in the same category. Because what makes the difference is not what we believe or what we think is right or wrong. But on that judgment day when we draw our last breath and we stand before the Lord, we are going to be judged by him. It is his standards we will be judged by. And the Bible says the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. I am a sinner and the Bible says that because I'm a sinner, because I've committed wrong in the eyes of the Lord, maybe not in the eyes of people, not in the eyes of other of ourselves or other other people, but in the eyes of God, I am a sinner, has committed sin, I have wronged, I've done things wrong in the eyes of the Lord. And because of that, I cannot enter the kingdom of God. Because of that, I cannot go to heaven. Because of that, I must be judged. And God knew that, so he sent his son, Jesus Christ, into this world. The Bible says, for God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever should believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The Lord see that I was helpless to get myself into heaven. The Lord see that I could not pay for my sin. The Lord see that I was going to be judged, and he gave his son to be my ransom, that I might be forgiven of my sin, not by anything that I have done, not by anything that I can do, not because I'm a good person or because I deserve it, but because of what Jesus Christ done when he hung upon the cross 2,000 years ago and he shed his precious blood that I might have forgiveness of my sin. Yes, judgment is coming to the sinner, but there is forgiveness for all those who would accept Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and their Saviour. Judgment was coming, the price I had to pay was a price that I could not pay. So Jesus Christ paid it for me. And it was such a, a precious sacrifice. It was such a, a, a wonderful gift, this free gift of salvation. That who am I that God would forgive me and have mercy upon me? But he loves us, for God so loved the world. He loves us. That's why Jesus Christ has the right to say that he is the only way. That is why Jesus Christ is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. That is why I can call him my personal Lord and Saviour because he hasn't asked of me what religion does that I should be able to do certain things to earn my way into heaven if I'm good or I'm good at religion or I'll be a good person or a good Muslim or a good Catholic or a good something I can go to what's promised before me but the Bible preaches that Jesus Christ, my God, was in heaven and he made himself nothing was born of a virgin, walked this earth as a man, a sinless life, the dead was raised and the sick was healed and he was crucified and nailed to a cross. My God died for me, he made a way for me. That's why he has the right to say that he is the way because he paid the price. Man cannot get into heaven by himself, by his own good deeds or good thoughts or by thinking that he is a good person. 
but only by Jesus Christ. Yes, he was crucified. He gave up his life for me. And they took him down off the cross and they laid him in a tomb. And three days later, he rose from death to life. He conquered death, that I would never taste it, that I would never see it, that I could call upon him and that I would never see death, that I, one day I would close my eyes and wake up before the Lord. That is a promise of God, that all those who accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Saviour are promised eternal life. I promised eternal life in heaven. And you may think that you're a good person. You might be listening to this tape and you think that you've never done nothing wrong. But by God's standards, by God's ways, we are all sinners. And only through Jesus Christ, we can be forgiven. I hope that you're listening to this CD and that you think about the words that's been said and you think about your eternal destination. Do you think about what lies ahead, that one day you're gonna close your eyes and be stood before the Lord? And what excuses will we ever try to give will never be enough. Ask for forgiveness today. Ask Jesus Christ into your life. Ask God for forgiveness. Say, Lord, forgive me and come into my life. Let him be your personal Lord and Saviour and walk with God all the days of your life. Serve the Lord all the days of your life because he is the only one who is worthy to be worshipped and praised and given glory to. I hope you've listened to the songs on this CD and you've been blessed. If you would like prayer or advice or counselling, call either of these numbers. 07735-500-606 or 07971 307 903. God bless.